Hello, I'm Paul Pluter, and today I'd like to talk about living on the fabulous Sunshine Coast. I recently spent a couple days away from the grind, the hustle and grind of life in Brisbane, and I went to the fabulous Sunshine Coast. So what I'd like to do is to show you some of the wonderful things from this area and look at how much will it cost to actually uh, reside in this location. Now I suppose the first thing we would really want is we would, uh, we would really want a place to call our own. We need a pad. How much is a apartment going to cost per week? That's a very good question because we'll need to have a base somewhere we can call home. And on the fabulous Sunshine Coast, we certainly won't be short of options. Mind you, they won't be so cheap. If we wanted a simple a simple unit apartment on the uh, the water say somewhere like Kings Beach that's where these beautiful video was shot Paul Pluto shot this video to show you how wonderful life can be at Kings Beach Caloundra so how much are we looking at for a studio type apartment with say parking and a, a bathroom we'd be looking at three hundred and forty dollars per week okay there we go three hundred and forty dollars per week that's for our pad okay we want to run a car now we want to run say a let's get a Toyota Corolla a Corolla and uh, we will um, we'll get a Corolla nice reliable transport not flashy transport but nice reliable transport this car will cost us about with uh, car payments how much does a Corolla cost in Australia well we'd be starting around about the twenty to twenty five thousand dollar mark for a Corolla overall it's going to cost us about two hundred dollars a week to run our Corolla if we buy the car outright that's right because we need to pay the two hundred dollars a week would be the depreciation that would be the servicing costs the registration the insurance and petroleum petrol is just over the dollar the litre a dollar per litre and prices have never been so low so we'd have to estimate I, with depreciation two hundred and fifty dollars per week now what other expenses would we have there well we would also have we would also have some electricity costs now for a simple apartment there we wouldn't be spending a lot of money on electricity but if we budget for we budget for a hundred dollars a month so about thirty dollars a week if we also we need to budget for some food we want to eat something whilst we're living on the fabulous sunshine coast it depends what sort of food we want restaurants and takeaway is very expensive but uh, if we go to our local Coles or Woolworths supermarket and do shopping how much is it going to cost well if you want to eat some nice steak have some nice chicken fillets breast fillets some vegetables you want to drink soda water brand name not home home brand rubbish you'd be looking at least two hundred and fifty dollars per week for groceries for a couple if you've got children you'd need to budget a bit more it's a false economy to spend less on groceries and then go to restaurants with the savings very very false economy 
What other costs would we have there? Well, you'd probably want to run a, f a mobile type phone, a mobile phone. A mobile phone. You might want to have cable TV. So let's, uh, let's budget for another $35 per week. And uh, this gives you how much does it cost to live at the Sunshine Coast. Now this is a, where we are on the water, this is like a little studio apartment, but we're on the water, we can enjoy a lifestyle. Lifestyle is so important. So let's, let's have a look at how much money we would have to spend to live in Australia. So, we'd be looking at rent of 340 per week, running costs for a Toyota Corolla, considering we bought the Corolla with cash, would be $250 a week. Electricity, utilities, $30 a week. Food for a couple would be about, food and alcohol would be about $250 per week. And phone, ut miscellaneous utilities, cable TV would be 35 per week. So we're looking at the princely sum of $905 a week. That's right. That's for a nice little studio apartment on the beach there. So uh, <coughs> if we amortize that, that's 47000 we need to come up with after tax just to survive. That's right. That's how much life costs to live on the Sunshine Coast. $47,000. That's before we've saved a dollar. That is before we have bought any clothing, beachwear, or other miscellaneous expenses. And our perfect partner we're living with she may not hang around if we're going to be stingy on the whining and dining front. No, she really doesn't want to stay at home and cook those bargain chicken legs we bought from Woolworths. No, she wants to go out for a gourmet meal. A lot of Australians like a punt. They like to play the poker machines. A lot of Australians like to go to a restaurant once a fortnight preferably once a week, and see and put real value on their life experiences. Also, if you're living on the Sunshine Coast, you'd also want to make a few commuter trips to Brisbane to, uh, to get a few supplies, essential luxury goods supplies. So now the other question is, how are we going to pay for this? Because... One thing I forgot to tell you is the Sunshine Coast doesn't really have many jobs. There's a bit of a shortage of jobs. And the only industry that seems to be doing well is the Centrelink office and the poker machine hall. Those are two growth areas. The reality is life at the Sunshine Coast can be very bleak. White collar, professional type work is in very short supply. The Sunshine Coast itself is crippled with Australia's high cost of living. And it makes, it makes people question, is it as idealistic as the video and brochure dictates? I'm Paul Pluto reporting on the cost of living on the Sunshine Coast. Please tell me what you think. See you later and God bless.